What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And this one I want to break down what's happening with Tesla Spy and video, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers. I'm also gonna break down some very important things about the markets, what you should be watching for as time goes on. But let me just mention that I am not a financial planner. Make sure you take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. I be signed up for Moomoo deposit $100, you are guaranteed five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed 15 in total, not to mention other important benefits. Now, with that being said, guys, let's talk about how the market's looking. Tesla got a very, very nice looking push all the way up here as it's continuing to break out. And we actually saw SPY do the same thing. The market's getting a more positive reaction after the big news that happened over the weekend, the big tragedy that happened, right? So I just want to say this one more time, guys, I'm not going to favor any political side in my channel. I'm going to try my best to be as unbiased as possible. I personally have my own biases, but I'm going to set those aside and just be very honest with everyone. I condemn any violence against against any president or any former president. I just wish the best for everyone on both sides of the aisle. Uh, let me make it very clear that, you know, what happened over the weekend was horrible. It was tragic. It was wrong. Okay. And I condemn it. And, you know, this was not great if this actually led to something that was much more serious. Fortunately, President or former President Trump is all right. He's fine. Uh, and that's actually very important. So with him being all right, you know, the market has a more positive reaction to this. The market's actually pushing amidst this news. Um, there's many different reasons. Uh, you have to remember that uh, during his presidency, the market also pumped quite a bit, uh, not only because of his policies that those did somewhat play a role, but it had a lot to do with like interest rates and uh, the liquidity that was being driven into the markets and all these different factors. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that so far the market's getting a more positive reaction. Even Tesla's been holding up very well. And we're continuing to see the market holding up, uh, breaking to new all-time highs on SPY. Uh, Elon Musk also talked about this event. He's been actually talking about this for many, many hours. We're just seeing like more and more tweets coming out from him involving this. Uh, Musk also fully endorsed Trump after this, and he hopes for a very, very rapid recovery for him. So that's also very important, uh, at least for Tesla as a whole especially as Elon Musk now is kind of like expressing his own political views, which is completely understandable. I respect his views, of course. And I think that, uh, you know, he has a lot of good points when it comes to the way our economy is functioning and why he's making decisions that he makes. So, yes, I mean, I think that I respect his decision and that's going to be completely fine. But that is more positive news for Tesla. If anything, we got a very, very positive reaction thus far. And as you guys can see, we're continually making these higher highs and higher lows, continuing to push higher as a result of this. On top of that, like I said in my early morning video, I mentioned that the 20 EMA would be a very, very critical support. Uh, this is where this green trend line happens to be, this green EMA, I mean. And what happened was we got a little dip here only to get bought back up because this was them grabbing liquidity for Tesla to continue. So technicals remain more bullish, but just know that we do have that tough resistance at 265 to be watching for. Our support is at 262, and if that fills us, I'll be looking at 260. Overall, we're doing a very, very good job at holding up. Now, with the bullish momentum that's building, at least for Tesla, the market as a whole is still you know, holding up well. But just know that we have another very, very big catalyst that's coming out. That's going to be Jerome Powell. Remember that in about an hour from the time I'm recording this, we have Jerome Powell giving a speech at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll have to see what the reaction is going to be. The last time he spoke, the market chopped a bit and it ended up just like pumping. So we'll see if this leads to even more upside. That's going to be very, very important for the way the market ends up moving. So with that being said, guys, the market is more bullish, okay? It's straight up just more bullish. I'm going to be 100% frank, 100% honest. And we're favoring even more upside, at least moving forward. Now, with this happening... I think that for Tesla, we're going to be watching to see how well we hold above 260, especially during Jerome Powell's speech. We might see some high volatility, but remember that every time Jerome Powell spoke, the market ended up pumping later on in the last couple of uh, trading sessions. And he's actually very, very careful with his words. He's not trying to say too much stuff, too much political things. He's very contained, so it might not cause anything too crazy. So we'll see what Jerome Powell says. If Powell says some crazy, crazy dovish things, we could see Tesla breakouts towards uh, the 270 area if we break past 265. And if Jerome Powell causes a big rug pull, we'll be looking for a move all the way back down towards uh, 260. If that fails us, we, we could be returning back down to 257. That's uh, exactly where our 20 EMA happens to be. But the trend is more bullish. We're trying to uptrend right now. And there's a good chance that Tesla's going to try to maybe dip a bit and try to rebound. It's still holding it very, very well. So we'll see what Jerome Powell causes. For SPY, 
We're looking more bullish overall. We actually have a very, very nice looking uptrend, a nice cup and handle like structure. And we're doing to breakouts to new all time highs. I'll be watching 656 as key resistance, followed by six, uh, uh, sorry, 566 after that. Overall, SPY is looking more bullish, continuing to break out. The four hour is looking pretty strong as well. So we are favoring the upside. And this thing may continue to break out to new all time highs. But just remember, we'll have to wait and see what Jerome Powell has to say. Once the guy opens his mouth, everything could change. So we'll just have to see what that leads to. But watch key support at 563.7. If we lose that, I'll be looking at a 561.7 as our next potential target below that. But overall, SPY is looking more bullish, trying to break out. And it does favor getting very close to 565. And then we'll see what kind of reaction we get after Jerome Powell's speech. For NVIDIA... Video is also looking pretty decent. We actually dipped a little bit all the way down towards 128 only to get bought back up. I'll be looking for a push all the way up towards 131.5 and then eventually our imbalance towards 132. Uh, it does favor kind of like a dip in a bounce and it could go a little bit higher to 131.5. So it does favor a little bit of a push attempt and then we'll see what Jerome Powell causes. For other factors out there, we also have the QQQ. It's breaking out very, very well as well. It actually broke past 500, which is a very, very good sign. And we're actually starting to see some tech trying to play a game of catch up. So it's actually very awesome to see. So I'll be watching 500 as resistance. If this breaks, we have an imbalance to go towards 502. And then if we end up losing this 500 area, I'll be looking at, first off, we have this 498 area as our support, not to mention 496.8. But overall, we're looking more bullish. We're favoring the upside. And I think that there's a good chance that this is going to perpetuate. So, so far, so good from the markets. On top of this, uh, as we favor upside, this is looking more decent. I do favor that even more. For uh, Apple, Apple dipped a little bit only to rebound. We're still looking more bullish. We call that 237 as resistance. That's where Apple ended up going to. And the chart remains bullish, in my personal opinion. On top of that, uh, if we were to lose uh, 232, we, we could turn back down. That's looking less favorable. And we're actually favoring a test of the all-time highs all over again. For the IWM Russell 2000, if we had lost our 20 EMA, we would have dipped down to fill the gap. But instead, we're remaining very, very bullish. And this is actually uh, looking more and more like it wants to be breaking up towards 218 plus. So it looks more bullish to me. Coinbase is favoring upside. We actually dipped a little bit. If we had lost our 20 EMA, we would turn bearish. But I said if we broke this white trend line, we would actually be testing 240. That's what happened. We did call that move out. Amazon is actually trying to rebound. I was worried that would actually dip a little bit. We did come very close to my target. We hit 193 only to rebound. I thought it would test 192 and then rebound. So we, we went a little bit higher than expected, but not bad. So we'll have to see if we could try to close above 195.2. If we do so, there could be a rebound coming. So that's going to be a very, very key support. Meta held 497. The 497 support zone, we actually held that. We dipped a little bit below it only to get bought back up. So now it's trying to rebound. I'm going to be looking for a move up to about 508. If that breaks, look for 510 and 515. There's a nice rebound attempt on Meta. For Microsoft, are trying to rebound. Make sure you watch our 30 minutes test of 458. There's a good chance we may be testing our 200 EMA. Google's also trying to rebound. We're going to be watching to see if we can try to break past 190. And if that breaks, we have this imbalance to fill towards 191.5. So I'm seeing some more upside potential in the markets. The market remains bullish as buyers are continuing to step in. This is helping Tesla quite a bit. But now Tesla's in a resistance area around 265. That's very tough. That's why Tesla's beginning to shuffle a little bit. I think it may continue to do so. But we'll see if this continues going into Jerome Powell's speech. As of right now, just remember, every time Jerome Powell spoke the last for the, the past week, the market kind of chopped it a little bit and the market started pushing even higher later on. So we'll see if that ends up being the case. Uh, so far, so good from Tesla in the markets, and we'll just have to see how things go. With that being said, I want to say I really appreciate you guys for listening. The market remains more bullish and we'll see how things go. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, have a great day and peace out.